This morning I'm making my old fashioned C's fudge. We make about 50 pounds every year. And I made one batch so far this morning and you can see how shiny this fudge is. And we do hand dip it. We do hand dip it afterwards. After it's been chilled overnight, we dip it in um, chocolate. So I'm gonna walk you over here. This is the big pot that I use right here. And you can see that I've already made one batch. I do use a really strong or powerful, I guess, KitchenAid mixer. You have to have a really, um, they have like two or three different sizes, I guess. Um, I don't know what you would call it, but how fast or how strong. You have to have the pretty powerful one. And I don't know what this is. I think it's 1500. I'm not sure, but um, I can't see it. But anyways, it's, it's like a commercial one. You don't have to but it, it stir, mixes up better. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I have all my ingredients out. I did change up this recipe. My mother-in-law gave me this recipe about 35 years ago. She made fudge every year for as long as I can remember, and she's gone on to be with the Lord. But I take three packages, the small packages, right here, it's long way, of the semi-sweet, and I believe this is, uh, I don't know, this is a small package here. Anyways, there you see it. And I put three packages in my mixer. Then I take two cubes of butter, and I use this, and I chop it kind of in just little small pieces, and I put it in my pot. Then I take one half pound, or 38 marshmallows, which, is, which are these, I count out 38 and I put it aside in a bowl. Then I take two tablespoons of vanilla and I just use your regular old vanilla. And I put two tablespoons into the pot. And then I take two cups of nuts and I use the large bag of walnuts and I just do two cups. And I put them in my mixing bowl. And then I take four and a half cups of sugar. I put it in my pot. I take one large can of evaporated milk, and that's what I use right there. It's 12 ounces, and I put that in the pot. This is where I change it up a little bit. I go ahead with everything that's in my pot, all the liquid, and I turn, I have a gas range, so I turn that on, and I bring it to a boil, and I stir constantly. You don't wanna not stir. And then I take my 38 marshmallows, and I add it to the pot, and I stir those while it's boiling until the marshmallows are melted. And then I take all of that and I pour it over my chocolate and my nuts in my mixing bowl. And I mix until it starts turning really shiny. And it takes a while to do that. And then I take my long um, Pyrex dish. And I think that one is like an eight and a half by 11. I coat it with some Crisco oil, just very lightly. And then I pour my mixture in. And this is what I end up with right here. And I let it sit out for a couple of hours until it cools down before I put it in the refrigerator overnight because you don't wanna put it in while it's hot and then cover it because you'll have moisture. So I wait until it completely cools down. Then I lightly cover it with um, you know, plastic wrap and I put it overnight in the refrigerator. And then the next day I go ahead and cut it up and I dip it. So. That's my uh, fudge recipe. Have a great day.